All right. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> we're getting ready for our monthly. Uh, we're getting ready for our monthly tournaments. Uh, one of our monthly tournaments on uh, <clears throat> here on Chess.com for the Roanoke Valley Chess Club, as you can see, and uh, it, we're just having some fun in chat. Um, and we're we're talking about you know players of the past and of course I had to bring up Nizhmedinov he's my favorite uh, player of the past as you can see by the fact I own the book of his games with his annotations Oh, what was it? It was, uh... <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> We're just we're just getting ready to have some fun and uh <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm I'm listening to some music. Like I like I said, I like to listen to music when I play chess. <laughs> 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 oh, nice. We've got we've got just about everyone in here. And the tournament's about ready to start. There we go. We've got nine people in here. That's that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So, oh, 10. Yes. Yes, we've got 10 people. Now it is going to be imperative that I uh, uh, stay on afterwards because I'm going to be copying these into their own little thing. There you go, Chris. All right, so got about 15 seconds. Let's see. So I am probably going to wind up playing either this person or this person. Uh, he contacted me earlier today to get on the list, and so did Chris. Okay. Oh, I'm playing Dave. Okay. Now yeah, we're going to go ahead and play here. Yeah, I gave us a two-second increment just because I wanted to negate lag. Okay, well, we're going to play this. I... Uh, I play this just because I don't 
like the Scandinavian. I, I think it's just too close to a Queen's Gambit position, so I'd rather play something more in my wheelhouse. Um, and I don't mind giving up a pawn. Um, what's a pawn between friends and all that jazz? Um, plus, I get fairly rapid development for it. Um, I don't actually want to do that. I think I just want to play... I think bishop d3 is probably correct. Um, I probably want to castle queenside. I'm expecting him to castle here, so, you know, we'll see. Okay, c6, that's a that's a move. I'll just uh, put my queen on d2. Uh, this isn't an actual threat because I can take. Um, I do want to maintain a pin. It's not really maintaining a pin. It's just putting my bishop on a good square. Plus, even if you... If he went here, I would take the bishop. If he takes my queen, I take his queen. And then... The problem is I've basically stolen a piece. Yeah, okay, so we're going to take there, and then we're going to castle, and I don't see him taking this, so I can afford to play maybe knight e4 and try to get to c5, maybe play c4 myself. Um, yeah, we're going to play knight e4. f5 just doesn't strike me as a good move. Uh, I've got knight c5, or I can play knight g3. But I really need to try pushing one of these pawns. Probably, uh, let's play king b1 first, and then play g, yeah, g4, g5, yeah. Okay, so I can't do that, so I need to play, maybe I should take that. Yeah, let's take that. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this, and then... Play probably, I mean, it's really difficult to suggest a bad move for me at this point. Yeah, okay. So we need to play g4, we need to play g5. We'll see what exactly happens. Yeah, I, I still like g5. I mean, I've got control over the g5 square, so it's it makes sense. And yeah, okay, h5, that was to be expected. But... Uh, you know, I want to play here. I want to try and control everything. Um... I like at knight f5, but the problem is it just doesn't do anything. Um, there was actually a very good move to play h5. That's experience beyond his rating. Um, and what am I? I'm only down a pawn, right? Yeah. I can maybe consider g6, but the problem is he plays f6. He's almost certainly going to play f6. And normally I say never play f6, but... That would actually probably, well, then again, it would isolate this pawn artificially. So maybe I should play it and then play queen to e2 to go after it. So, ah, uh, yeah. Actually, that's not a bad plan. Uh, I think I can go for that plan. That's a good plan. G6 himself. Uh, I don't think that's good. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's good. Um... I mean, the obvious answer would be to double up. Okay, so let's kick the knight and then play rook f6. Because that knight has to go back, I think, to one of these awful squares, either b6 or c7. Okay. It's not what I would have played, but okay. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play rook f6, and I don't exactly care if he takes it. I, because his bishop is just not going to be involved in the game, and I'm going to be playing, say, you know, knight takes, and his position just isn't that great. Um, I can even consider dropping this rook in on the f-file um, first before I do that, and that's probably the smart thing to do. Just to separate everything. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and double up on the F file. Uh, oh! Oh! I think that... Yeah, let's double up. We'll see what happens. If he develops his bishop, I mean, it doesn't... Whoa, does it? <sighs> because it's a development thing. Okay. Develops his bishop. Knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes, queen g7, because I just don't believe it, under any circumstance that king h8 is the right move. Uh, queen there. Knight play rook takes. His king has to. S no, he can't do. Okay, yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, exactly. I can't do that. Um, instead, what I need to be trying to do is breaking through. Maybe the best way to do that would be to triple. If I triple, okay, so let's take some time here. If I triple, no, okay, so instead I should probably find some way to play it somewhat safe. Knight e5. I want to get my knight to e5. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our knight to e5. Because that's just a good square for it. And he's not really threatening to do anything. And I can focus on trying to crack uh, crack the kingside structure. Plus, it gives me added pressure on f7 that I can actually use to my advantage. For example, taking on f7 with something. I'm not sure what yet. Because there's arguments to be made for the rook. Actually, the rook might be the best option to do so with. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take that. I don't care if he takes that. Um, I'm hitting the bishop, obviously. Um, bishop e8 is probably the best move. But then I've got a very strong d pawn. Yeah, okay. Uh, might actually use that. Okay. We'll see exactly what happens. Actually, his queen is trapped if I play d6. So he can't let me play d6. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. I don't have to worry about that. That's the best part about this. You know what? I can I can honestly afford to make waiting moves because his position is so passive. He's got to do something. Like, we're, this is kind of almost a middle game Zugzwang. And I really don't care what he does with his pawns over here. Because I'm just going to take them. Because I can't really take here. Can I? Take queen takes check. No, I can't do that. Okay, um... It's more productive if I do this. And I don't exactly care if he does that because my knight goes here or something. And he can't take that pawn. Take here. Maybe I just take it. Yeah, that seems appropriate. Okay. Not the move I would consider. 
Yeah, definitely not the move I would consider. Maybe I should just go here. Problem is he can't take that bishop because he's got other pressing issues on the board. I probably should take with the rook if that happens. Bishop takes, rook takes, rook takes, rook takes. He wouldn't want to play queen takes, but I think he has to. Otherwise, he get yeah, he, he has to because he gets checkmated if he doesn't. I mean, that's not saying I don't have to be extremely careful. Um, because I absolutely do. That doesn't that just lose? I think he's trying to play here. Oh, that's clever. Let's go here and then okay. Uh so I actually have to stop that. Clever. Okay, so if I want to stop that, Okay, I'm trying to actually figure this one out. Uh, queen takes, check. Pawn takes, takes. What is going on here? Okay, that doesn't that doesn't work. Okay. Then again, if I go here, uh, I can just move my king up safely. Yeah. Knight's just too useful where it is. I really need that bishop gone. That That's a very well-placed play, bishop. Yeah. Oh, shh. Wow. That was just a blunder. I had told myself I wasn't going to play Rook Takes. I was going to do this, but jeez. My gut instinct is when somebody does that, I just take it and then I move my king. Oh, that was bad. On so many levels, that was bad. Wow. I was bad. Wow, that was a blunder. Wow. Wow, there there is no excuse for that. There is absolutely no excuse for that. Okay, turn off that. I don't want to see that. Okay. It's an interesting position for sure. Um, I would be tempted to take...
Yeah, that's 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 right. Uh, I would probably be trying to. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, that was fair. What is that? Ugh. Probably here. Probably there. Jeez, that was just a one of the most crass blunders I've ever played. I mean, the problem is after rook d8, which is basically forced. Uh, well, I could see the argument for this, but uh, that also works, yeah. I don't, I don't see, yeah, I don't see a trade. I'd probably play here. Just because I don't want to weaken d6 further. Um... And the long diagonal is pretty good unopposed. Um, let's see. Okay, I wouldn't have done that. D6 is just really good if he can ever find a way to get his knight protected on that square, but okay. Yeah, I was about to say we're playing rook h to e1 because this rook might come to the b fall. Um, no, let's develop. That's actually a better move than I gave it credit for. Oh my goodness, that's a good move. Wow, bishop c5 is a good move. Wow. That's just a... <laughs> is that not just winning? Is that not just one? That's a better question. Because that forces a king up to g3. Okay, so the reason why I say bishop c5 just forces the king to g3 is because you don't want to give up the... You don't want to play rook d4 and give that up. So, oh, bad move. Bishop c5 is just better. Um, so if king e1, which is the only other legal move other than rook d4, king g, king g3, um, the problem is on king g1, you've got queen e4, check. And literally, uh, I wouldn't, you couldn't pay me enough to play, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to pay me enough to play, uh, king d2 because a queen queen e3 mate so you have to go queen here and then you're checkmating anyway so yeah queen c5 was just infinitely better and at this point you know the white's surviving but you know you were basically forcing the king up the board and potentially into a mating net but probably not And the problem is Drew is now going to have to play. Yeah, he's he's not in a good way when it comes to his clock. Um, <laughs> uh, he is not in a good way when it comes to his clock. Yeah, and keeping queens on is the correct move, especially with that. So I expect bishop here, which is just... 
a really bad retreat, so maybe, but you have to. Maybe you can play Rook here. But you still got, yeah, okay. So we're going to take and then take. Yeah, that, that was what I expected. Yeah, yeah and the, that was pre-moved almost certainly. I would play here just because... Well, okay, you know, this is probably what Will is going to play. This is probably what's going to get played. Wow, we still got three games going on. That's pretty good. Yeah, wow, he actually played King G3, okay. Also, that's going to be a long time to play. I'd play, okay, that's not what I would play. I want control of the D file, so I wouldn't trade. Okay, not what I would play. I would trade instantly. And now, yeah. I mean, I'd be playing H3 to try and get some sense of safety, but okay, I guess that's not what we're playing here today. This would be a great square to get the bishop to, but it won't happen. I want to try and get that. Okay, that's a move. Um, I would have considered maybe taking the pawn. Okay, so what can we assume that he's going to play? Yeah, that was actually what my gut told me was a good move, so... Yeah, you don't want to get your king caught that far up the board, so I'd probably play h3 here for sure. Unless we're playing, you know, loony chess, but we're not. Yeah, h3. I'm going to go king h2. What? What are we doing? Why? Why would you put your king in a more vulnerable position? Ugh. I mean... Obviously, queen g3 is the threat, so we need to be thinking about going, like, here or here. I, I don't care which. Just, or, well, that's illegal because of that, yeah, so. Um, 
maybe here. It defends, yeah, this is a good move. Defends this, attacks this, and attacks this. That's good. Let's see. I mean, I'd like this rook to get more active, but right now it's not exactly the biggest, uh, the most important thing in the position. I mean, it does at least hit a pawn, so that's good. And this is interesting move. Um, not what I would have played, but okay. Uh, you know, credit where it, yeah. Okay, that's fair. I'm going after this one maybe, or what? Trying to push here and then. Yeah, that was where I was about to guess. Obvious is to check here. Yep, going after this now. Can't, yeah, actually that's a good move, hilariously. We'll see if it actually gets played though. Knowing these two, they're not gonna play it. They're gonna play something wacky instead. Exactly. Yeah. Forces the king back to here. I mean, that's the only legal move. Not what I would have played. I would have played... Yeah, but... Okay, I'll do that. There we go. No. No. We're going to play here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that game was over a long time ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, talk about a dominant position in exchange, uh, in exchange down. Jeez. Oh, shoot. That's bad. That's mate.
All right, so the next round starts, and let's play a little bit better this time. <laughs> okay. We'll see what we want to play. I think he plays d4, yeah, so we're going to play knight f6. Yeah. Okay, so he's playing a Kali. I just think the Kali is passive. It's slow. It's just... I don't even... I don't think it's that good, if I'm honest. I, I think you're much better served playing anything else. Yeah, I, I think he, I, I think he just, I mean, if you want to avoid theory, that, that's one thing, but, you know, if you're going to try and avoid theory, play the London, don't play something as passive as the Kali, Jesus, let's just, and, and see what I mean, you're looking to play E4, so play E4, come on, man. Right? And now you've given me this c5 square for my knight, and I'm going after this pawn, and I've already listened to that tonight. So I'm going to skip it. Skip it. Right, so... If I play here, I'm going to get knight, I'm going to get my knight to f4, and I get f5 in, which is great. Uh, basically, my plan is to play this like a King's Indian. Um, because he's given me that option. Um, there we go. Yeah, he's he's giving me the option to play this as a king's Indian, so I think I think I should take the option, right? God, that that loss in round one was just bad, though. Gee whiz. I mean, he doesn't even have the real bayonet attack uh, option because now I just trade off this bishop, which is kind of holding a lot of his, kind of holding his pawn chain together. Um, but then again, do I really want to play f5? Because if he takes it and, you know, I want to play g4, g, you know, g3. Okay, exactly. So uh, he's gone back. Um... I think the best option is to, unfortunately, take with the bishop. Because as much as I want to take like this in... Well, maybe I should do that. Queen's on a good square to do that, too. So, maybe maybe that's the best plan. We'll see. Plus, takes take. I would not have done that. Um... Yeah, that just seems bad. So we're going to play f4, and now, yeah, he, I mean, he's absolutely correct that he doesn't normally want to take this, but unfortunately now he's giving me, you know, a little bit of an easier path. I do have to ensure that I don't get captured, but the best way to do that would probably be maybe just taking it. I don't know. Maybe bishop h6. Yeah, bishop h6 to play g4 and then g5. Um, because he's not breaking through on this side. Not with the way he's got his pieces. And he thinks he's going to capture that. Uh, I'm not going to let him. Um, we're just going to play here. And yeah, I'm fine. Like two balloons. Okay, so we're going to play here. And that holds everything. And now, I really didn't need bishop f6. But the problem is, is knight's not really doing anything. I can start working on trying to keep it back. But the problem is, he doesn't have c5 as an option because he hasn't played c4. Because he decided he wanted to put his knight in front of the pawn. Um, and this is why you typically see d4, c4 in every single queen pawn opening. Because you don't want your knight in front of your pawn. Plus, I may be able to play like knight f6. I'm, knight b6 is an interesting option, but I, I I need to focus on the king side. And right now, I'm okay, especially if I get knight f6 in. Yeah, knight f6, I should be okay. Um, and then I can push, or maybe I should push and then play knight f6. Yeah, I think that's the correct way to do it. Push, play knight f6, and 
yeah. That that secures everything. Um, and then I get my queen into the game, and yeah, okay, I'm fine. This is good. This is good for me. This is this is good for me. Yeah. God, that, that blunder in the first round. I mean, come on. I had told myself I'm playing King D2 if check. And then just instant reaction is, oh, we need to take that. And I had already calculated. Like, I knew that was checkmate. <laughs> and see, that's the nature of blunders is you tell yourself not to play a move. Don't play this move. Don't play this move. Don't play this move. Okay, that's just bad. Um... Because now he doesn't have the option of trying to get back at these pawns, and all of my pieces are coming over to that side of the board. Plus, he lost all defense of this, so when I do play knight f6, after I play, say, queen g5, maybe. Um, also, that knight's trapped. He, Yeah, that knight is trapped. Interesting. Very interesting. But then he's got very little defense. Like, okay, so uh, not what I would have played. Um, I can actually safely ignore that too and just threaten his knight, which is, I mean, it's still trapped, so. Okay, bold. I see what he's going for, but I don't want to let him do it. So I think I'm just going to play. You know what? I'm just going to take it. No. Oh, that's a check. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I mean, I wouldn't be playing like he is, but... I mean, I do have to be somewhat careful, of course. Also, hilariously, material is equal. Not what I would have played, but okay. Um, we're just going to threaten checkmate, because checkmate is good. And he's not... Th he, d he actually has no checks. Interesting. And he has no way to actually defend... Defend, which is even more interesting. Because um, then I just take, right? Or I can just play here and then here and... Okay, so G3. Yeah, I play, what, here? I'm threatening, of course, queen to h3, um, which, of course, he can wait a move before playing that, um, but the problem is maybe he can't. Maybe I just play here and just liquidate everything on g3. I mean... The correct move is probably to play bishop to g5 if he plays bishop to h3, for example. Um, uh, 
obviously being careful to avoid the obvious tricks and stuff. Um, Maybe if bishop there, I play knight takes first. Might be the best course of action. Now, if I said I understood this position, I'd be lying. And of course, while his queen is on the D file, I just can't, I, I can't do anything to defend, right? I, I can't move my knight to develop. I could maybe consider knight to F8, but even then he just takes it and I don't have any real compensation for it. I can play knight f6 and then knight here, but then I get checkmated, so I can't do that. No, I don't because the queen is on the g file, duh. So I actually have to keep my bishop here. Okay, so maybe I can consider uh, this. Okay, so F takes G3. This is a complex position. Uh, F takes G. I would expect h takes g because I don't think you can well no you can't uh so f takes g queen takes bishop I'm trying to debate which check is better. Maybe I take here. I'm struggling to see. Okay, so then. Well now. Um, okay, so, okay, pawn takes pawn, queen takes bishop, and I would assume I should probably play here, because it, worst case... I pick up a rook for it, but that's not good enough. Okay, so pawn takes pawn, queen takes bishop, pawn takes f2, check. You can't play king to f1 because queen... Uh, Queen g2 would be mate. Okay, so he has to take. 
because if he goes to h1, it's also mate. So he has to take... I play queen to g2, which is mate. Or, no, it isn't. Sorry. Um, okay, so maybe I don't do that. Uh, well, I could take at that point because, no, I can't do that. Okay, so then... In that case, then I play what? Queen to, I can play queen to d4, but then he blocks. Okay, uh, if I go there. Okay, so I can't take there. Okay. That much is clear. But since he didn't play bishop here, I can actually play bishop here and then play that. Also, it's kind of weird he didn't play rook. Oh, yeah, th there's a pawn there. Okay. So if I go here... Complicated. But I believe I can actually play knight here. Knight there, queen goes there, and then I play knight here. Bishop takes... Okay, so that's certainly legal. Yeah, okay, I think I'll be fine if I play here. I mean, I kind of have to. So, he's going to probably play queen here. And then I play here. And we're going to wind up trading everything, so... That's great. If he plays here, well, the best part is... Um, I've got knight f6, so... <laughs> If he drops his rook in, knight f6 should be okay. Yeah. Or maybe I play bishop here. Yeah, if I play bishop here, it attacks the queen, so he can't take it. And if he, t you know, he can't take that bishop. And as a side benefit, it allows me to actually defend this properly. And once his bishop is there, I can play knight. What? What? Abandonment? What? Abandonment? What? That doesn't make any sense. What? 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 Abandonment? What? Why did it why why did it force me to abandon a game? I'll be back in just a little bit. Why did it force me to abandon a game?
All right, sorry about that. I'm still trying to figure out how it abandoned me. I, I, I what? What? Like that doesn't make any sense. Uh, my connection is stable and I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's just so weird. I mean, I think I had lost because if I play knight g7, it get, uh, uh, rook takes b uh, g8 as mate. If I play bishop, same thing. If I play knight f6, well, he takes it and I've got the same problems. So if I play queen, bishop takes, I'm down a queen. So, yeah. Like, I'm really curious about that one. Oh, I'm on that game. Duh. Uh, okay, so I'm expecting... Yeah, check. And then the king has to go here. I mean, because you don't want to give up the bishop. And then I would expect that. Okay, that's one way to solve that. Um, king goes there. Then queen here is probably what I would play. And that's kind of game over. Jesus, Ray, resign. The game is over. Okay, that's the other move I was looking at. That's pretty much forced. Then check. And then here, mate.
Yeah, I was about to say somebody's in time pressure. I'm almost positive of it. No, it'd probably be here. But man, I, I the first game I played okay until I just blundered. That second game was just too messy and, you know, I I don't I, I don't actually know. What I, I I did I admit it I didn't even understand that position. I've already listened to this one tonight. We're gonna skip that. All right, listen to that tonight. Okay, we'll listen to that. Okay, not what I would have played. Um. Doesn't that just lose a piece to that? And then after that, I would... I mean, that's the only possible reason I can consider for playing knight to e3. Okay, I would not play that. I would be playing, like, probably here. Okay, my gut reaction was the correct move. Yeah. And then we're looking at probably knight here. Yeah. I'd be playing knight here just straight up. Yeah, I, I mean, I would play knight h4 just because I don't see the reason... I don't see anything really wrong with that move. Plus... You've got a pressure on, you know, the entire king side, so. You're up a piece. You can afford to do. You know what? Honestly, I just trade. And I'd probably even play there, yeah. Get that king active, yeah. Yep. That also works, yeah. I mean this game is over, so I don't I don't really see the point in it being played out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this game is long over. No. That's a bad move, uh, and you should be ashamed for, you know, you know, guessing it. That's also legal, yeah. Fine. I'd be playing here. Not there. Jesus, are you trying to draw? Okay, legal, I guess. Okay, not what I would play. I'd be trying to get one of those pawns off, but okay, fine, whatever. Come on, really? Okay, fine, whatever. I mean, this game is over, so I don't know why I'm trying to guess the moves. I really don't. And plus... Yeah, but no, this game, this game is over, yeah.
Yeah, and that knight's gone now. Yeah. Jeez. To be in the bottom half of the tournament, though. Geez. He's going to play the French, and I suspect the win a war, too. Oh, no, no, no. He plays the Steinitz. Yeah. Oh, no, he did play the win a war. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, he plays this stuff. Really? Really? Okay, fine. Oh, I mean, I, I don't exactly... Yeah, whatever. That said, you'd be, I'm not taking that pawn. That's just ridiculous. I'm not taking that pawn. That's... No. You won't catch me dead taking that pawn. Now, I, I honestly am not sure if I care if he takes that pawn because I get, you know, the C5. Actually, he can't take that pawn. See? Yeah. So I can actually safely develop. The, I don't know where. I'm not sure if I care. <laughs> Maybe I should play bishop e2. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, probably just play bishop here. I'll castle and call it call it a day, I guess. Ah, preventing me from castling. Okay, fair. Hmm. I guess I'll just play king here. Clever, right? Not really. That's not clever at all. Jeez, it's the opposite of clever. Not what I would have played, but okay, fine. Wait a second, does that... Does that work? I mean, I can pick up material if I do that. I mean, I'm not losing material, so... But the question is, can I f make it a mate? Because he can't actually get over there to stop it from being mate. And his king can't get out because of every other piece that's in the way. Yeah, I think I can actually do that. Figures. And that's the thing. I can go here, and he can't even stop me from... And, of course, my bishop is going to retreat, so it doesn't even matter what he does. And it's retreating with check. And he can't play g3, he can't play knight here. Or, sorry, g6, and he can't play knight there. Yeah, I honestly needed this game. <laughs> oh, I needed this game. Uh, 
There we go. The, you see, these are the tactics I like to play. And when I actually take the time to calculate and actually try to play well, um, okay, it's a check and yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. Wow, you got to be kidding me. And of course, freaking Drew, of course. jeez. It's also a move, yeah. I, I, I can't stand looking at a collie anymore. Let's see what game... Well, okay, this game is going to be over shortly. Wow, that game... Wow, wow. Talk about... I mean, the only hope... Uh, now the real question is why won't it let me uh... oh the game was over already okay let's take a look at this one okay oh this is not gonna end well oh god he plays a Petrov ugh I mean, this is where I just consider, you know, just taking that. Maybe it's better to play like that first. Or maybe, oh well, yeah, no, you've got double up. Yeah, doubling is absolutely the right plan here. Okay. I don't know. I, I I'm not sure what to think of these games right now. We've got a Kali, one of the most boring games ever. Jeez. Like, there's no reason to be taking any time in this position. I mean, I take with the knight just because I don't like having the isolated pawn, and there's no way, you know, he's going to... Okay, that also solves it. But I want to also trade off a pair of knights and say, yeah, this is boring. It also prevents that. Now this knight, now this pawn is under actual serious threat, and there's nothing you can really do to save it except push it. So I'd be pushing it. All right.
That's also a move, I suppose. I don't know. I'd be doubling, but something tells me Will, Will isn't going to do that. Oh, we actually did. Okay. I mean, I'd be starting to consider sacking the exchange here. And if there's only a way I could, like, distract this and then take here, that shack tactic is pretty good. Okay. I'd play probably rook here. That makes the most sense. Mm, I don't agree with that. Maybe I do. Yeah, that's also legal. That's also good. That's why I wanted to go here. Because even though it gave up this square, you're not losing material from doing it. So... Yeah, so I'd be taking there and trying to figure out how to get this knight off of that square. I'd be playing, well, no, that's just a hope tactic. I'd be playing that. You know, this is just white hoping for a certain tactic. Um, knight e8, you play knight here. And if he wants to try and, you know, win material or something, you know, queen takes and then bishop here. But the, it's not going to happen. But anyway. Let's see. I mean, this pawn is weak. Not what I would have played, but okay, fine. Don't want to play that. I mean, I'd probably play a3, just ask what that bishop's doing. Because if he goes here, well, you're just, you know, mopping up that center, and you've actually got a good tactic if you do that, so, yeah. a3, okay, not what I would have played, but okay, fine. Then again, it's a good move. But not not good enough. So I think you got to play here. And then 
then I would assume pawn takes and then queen here. I'd be playing bishop h6 and then queen g5, and I think I'm better. And if he takes, I mean, queen takes is just good because you've got the rook coming in and then you've got the check and then the mate. Um, right? Yeah. I'm figuring this is what's going to get played because it threatens the queen and, you know, supposedly that's good. And it brings you closer to promotion. I mean, like I said, I'm almost positive that uh, D takes C3 will be played um, simply because it is, you know, it picks up a tempo on the queen, it brings it closer to promotion. Um, if it weren't for this queen G5 move, um, which is just winning as far as I can tell, I think, I think it's better for... I, I'm pretty sure this is better for white regardless. Um, not what I would have played, but probably good. Um, is not the correct move just take this? Because that's what I would do. Yeah, that's what I would do. Well, would I? Would I do that? Um, that's obviously majorly threatened. And he's just defended queen g5, which is very good on him. The real question is, though, if I play here... Problem is, queen doesn't have a lot of squares, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't see anything else, so Yeah. Uh maybe we're ta maybe he just takes with the king and then we play what here? That's a tough one. Because uh, White would win there if he takes the knight, I mean. Doesn't matter how. So, 
how would you defend that position? Oh, goodness gracious, really? All of a sudden, I kind of like white now. All of a sudden, I like white. I like white here for tactical reasons. I like white in the other game for positional ones. Also, he's doing really well this tournament. Jeez. Whoa! No, that is not correct. Jeez. Now we can safely just take that and you've got no king safety, buddy. You're not threatening checkmate. You're just down four pawns. I mean, you can't even threaten checkmate with, say, bishop here because you just take it. And your knight's not coming in to be useful because you just take it. What are you doing there? And that's just an automatic... Come on, Willette, though. You don't have to you, you don't have to think about this. Just take the pawn. He's not threatening anything. I mean, sure, you can maybe he can't even do that because he has to go here, then here, then here. And you can just play h three or even better, you could like sure you can't do that. Um you, Well, I mean uh, the bishop still covers the H eight square, so you can't even do that. Jeez. I mean, come on, man. Does it just... Just take the pawn. Come on, it's not that hard. Did he take it? Yes, he took it. Thank goodness. I mean, this... Shouldn't have taken that long to do that, though. Jeez. Position is dead lost for black. Um, yeah, this is... I, mean, I still like white here. I mean, I'm thinking f4 or maybe takes and then f4. Knight f3 is good to play knight to h4 and maybe get knight f5 in. Um, but maybe not right now because uh, tactical reasons on the d1 square. I'm just trying to plan. Um, maybe just f4 and saying, okay, fine, what, are you, what, what do you have? Also, I'm not a big fan of my air conditioning coming on right now. Um, we're going to see some mutual time pressure in both games. Knight takes. I, I don't see that as a good move. Bishop takes is even worse. If you want to try and stop h8 from being attacked you can play here but that's just so weakening that it's not even funny because you just play bishop c4 so f6 bishop c4 and i mean come on what are you doing here buddy um ah we're trading i don't approve of that um i wouldn't trade not with, well, okay. Uh, let's see, knight take, well, okay, let's see. Knight takes, rook takes, queen takes, bishop takes, knight here. I don't think I like this position. Uh, well, maybe maybe it's not that. Yeah, okay. That's also a move. Yes, we're threatening checkmate. I'm expecting here. Did he just lose a rook? I think he just lost a rook. Hmm. 
Yeah, he he just lost a rook. Yeah, he just lost a rook. I mean, at least I was trying to get some... I mean, it, okay, he's threatening checkmate and he's threatening the queen and all that. But the problem is, his e1 square was so weak that it's just not... It, no. So, yeah, I'm I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this rook h5 move. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, this game is over. So, um, well, okay, I missed that move. I admit, I missed that move. But still, it's hard to be fully optimistic about uh, the. It's hard to be fully optimistic. Um, I mean, I still like the white pieces here. Jesus. I still like the white pieces. E5 and... So, I was actually wrong. Whoa! Okay, so tell me what's wrong with that move. Or, actually, no. We need to be playing here. And the, the reason why we need to do that is because you don't want to allow knight to e2 check. Yeah. This is probably the correct move because it puts pressure here. Oh, that's beautiful! Oh! Oh, man. You actually have to put some effort into stopping queen g5. Because if you don't, oh, that's that's clever. That's clever. Bishop here, queen g5, uh, king to f8. I am assuming... Queen to G eight. Oh, this is this is this is clever. Yeah, I guessed it. Now we're actually okay. Well, let's see. That's an easy checkmate. I was yeah. I was looking at how to defend properly, and that comp that variation got messy. All right, so we're gonna try and guess here. Yep, E five. I was probably correct on that. Yeah. I mean, what would I be playing here? I mean, I would want to trade. I would just do so immediately. But that's also a very good move. Jeez, that's a good move. Um, we have to play probably here. Or do we play here? That also works, yeah. That's legal. I'd be playing rookie four. 
and then trying to get my rook somewhere in that direction. So I'd be playing rook e4. Yeah. Let's see. Rook f8 maybe? Oh, wait, no, that's bad. What am I thinking? I'm going crazy. And yes, I'm, I am well aware it's hard to do some, go somewhere you already are, so. Um. I don't want to lose another tempo, so maybe we go here. Whoa! Okay. Uh, take... Wow. Wowzers. Um, okay. Uh, what is that? That's hanging, that's hanging, that's hanging, that's hanging. Uh, I think the best thing to do is just to take there. Take... I would take Okay, that's also bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that th this is just game over. White's dead lost here, so Yeah, so that game is over. I'm just waiting for the next one to start. Yeah, pocket the moon. All right, so let's see. Has the game ended yet? No, they're still both. Oh, yeah, because I did put in a two-second increment. Yeah, but this game is over, so we're just going to play B5. No need to actually complicate this. Okay. Again, I would just be pushing these pawns because that's how we're going to win. Now we go. Whoop. Well, you could also do that, but I'd be going there. Okay. Uh, B5. There's... N Goodness gracious. Just try to... You don't have to play there. <laughs> just please push the pawns and the thank you. Thank you. Jeez, thank you for pushing the pawns. Thank you. Oh, this is going to end poorly. I expect it to. We'll see. We'll see what he plays. All right, this is probably going to wind up being a dragon of some sorts. Okay, uh, not, oh, he's doing this delayed wing gambit nonsense. Okay, um, sure, buddy. Yeah, that's a, really, fine. Really, really. Though, I mean, I admit I could have taken that, but I want development. You know, he's playing the wing gambit just so that he can... Uh, really, really. He's probably looking at b5 and then knight here and then probably f4 and then nonsense and uh, just there's a level of done that i am <laughs> probably knight g6 is probably better than knight g4 probably I'm going to have to start varying my openings a little bit more. 
Of course, I could play knight to d4, but that kind of traps, puts my knight in a bad way. So I don't actually want to do that. Um, well, does it? Yeah. So I actually just want to play here. He's probably going to play d4. Um, probably makes the most sense to me. Okay, I'm expecting e5 now. And I think I'm actually okay at, at that point. Um, can maybe even play e4 then, knight e4. That's getting messy. It's getting messy. Yeah. Yeah. This is getting messy. Lionel messy. Um, and I am so sorry about that joke. Um, okay. So I guess the correct move is to probably just play e5 then. I expect d5 probably. But he's got to be careful because... I can play bishop c4, maybe. Maybe I should just be careful. Why would I be careful? That's... Why would I be careful? Yeah, C3, that's that's fair. And that kind of defeats the purpose of that. So we're just going to play, what, bishop here? I mean, I'm not really scared of him taking this pawn because that puts my knight back in the center. Um, okay, I'll just defend it, and that gets my bishop out, so I'm happy about that. And now I can even take, yeah I, yeah, I would probably take back with the pawn just because uh, open defile, but also no isolated backwards pawn. Maybe I should pin it and then play knight h4. That'd be fun. I'll castle, and then I'll look into pinning it and other stuff. But yeah, no, I am not, I'm not, de Yeah, I may need to start trying to do some stuff to uh, keep these guys from playing weird stuff against me to avoid opening prep of any sort. I don't know. Knight f4 is interesting, but... Eh, I'm skeptical it accomplishes anything useful. Um, and 
Oh my goodness, the game already finished? Okay, no, I'm just, I just can't see, apparently. Uh, buddy. Um. I don't mind the knight getting kicked if I pick up the bishop pair. Plus, this gives me knight h4 in a great way. Maybe I should actually do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we're going to play knight h4. Maybe that's not... Eh, it's fine. Because if he takes and... and I, I don't see anything wrong with this position, so... Yeah. <sighs> okay, so... I really want to play knight g2, but something tells me it's just not a good move. Maybe I should just take. Yeah. I'll take it. And then play here because I'm boring and it's probably the best move, so I shouldn't be trying to reinvent the wheel here. And I can work on other ways to try and play this position. Yeah, knight comes out to there. Yeah, maybe I should do this and just, yeah. That's fine. He plays e5. I'm I'm okay with this position if I'm honest. My pieces are okay enough as it is. I, I don't really see anything wrong with where I've placed any of them. I mean, yeah, knight c4 is a bit of a no. It isn't. Knight c4 doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm okay. Also, I already listened to this. I already listened to that. I already listened to that. Okay. Yeah. Also, he's taking a lot of time, and that's probably the only hope, real hope I have. Because I do need to make a comeback here in terms of how I'm playing. Yeah, that's fair. Probably knight to d7 and... I do want to... Okay, that's a concern. Uh, I still don't see anything wrong with playing this. I'm expecting here d5 and then knight takes, takes, takes. I've got a majority on the queen wing and that's probably good enough for me. Because he's going to have a hard time holding on to this pawn. Um, takes, takes. i got two connected passers on the queen wing. And I do have somewhat of a loose situation over there, but... Yeah. 
Okay. He's probably going to try and play here, so... And of course, Bishop F8. Plus, it's an open file, so. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Okay. I'm still going to play it because it gives me the open, you know, I have the open file now and now I can start working on trying to get rid of stuff. So knight f6 is a move to consider. Um, you know, if I had a good place to put the bishop, maybe, maybe d7. But knight f6 is just bad because of e5. So I can't do that. Um, I don't want to play knight b7. Maybe just pushing this pawn might be good. Or I can consider looking at trying to do something in the center. Okay, not what I would have played. But... Ah, clever, clever, clever. Just preemptively do this and now I've got a fianchetto. Might be a good option. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good option. Okay. I'll listen to this. And I mean, he is putting a lot of pressure on my position, so but the good thing is I'm seeing everything. Um Better than earlier tonight. <sighs> oh, God, I wish. Yeah, let's just start doing something. Jeez. Whoa, okay. You know what? We're just going to play this, and I don't care if I lose the A pawn. I really don't. Good. I didn't, and guess what? I'm actually going to be able to get developed. I mean, I don't like that my position is as cramped as it is, but goodness gracious, it is so much better now that I can actually get this piece out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm okay. I am okay with this because it, it's it's going to be very difficult for him to actually get pieces over 
to take advantage of the open H file because there's just nothing over there to take the open H file with. I mean, this is just... I'm actually okay with the way this position is turned out. Yeah, okay, so we're good. We're going to take like this. The only concern I have is if he plays like bishop c4, and then I have to consider, you know, an actual defensive, a serious defensive move like uh, rook to e7, which kind of interferes with literally everything. Um, thankfully, he didn't do that. And I can maybe consider playing knight here. Do I have that option now? I think I do. Yeah, if I play knight here, bishop g5 isn't really a concern for me, I don't think. Um, okay, so... Maybe I just should play d5. Yeah, d5 I think is a good move. Um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, in all seriousness, it actually is fine for me. Um, I'm not too attached to the position at the very moment because bishop g5, I've got queen b8. Yeah, well, that's also apparently legal. Um, shocked he doesn't want to try and take advantage, but okay, so i'm not concerned he he's got nothing on f8 so, or on f7 yet That's, i do obviously still have to be careful so maybe i can consider like queen here and trying to get some pressure on his position um but we'll see if that's actually something that's going to happen probably not maybe not yeah, okay, fine. Uh, I'll just play queen here. I mean, here's the great thing. I can even start considering, you know, maybe something to take all over this square. Put some pressure on this pawn. Yeah, and now I've got, you know, I can maybe even try to get this rook active by pushing this pawn further and further. I think that's the right option. I just have to check after every move to make sure he doesn't have some sort of killer threat now. Um, ah, he's going to try and double. Clever. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't think he's doing anything on that, though. If I go here, I mean, really? I think I'm okay if he takes it, so... Obviously, I'm going to take... I'm going to take this because, yeah, and I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to defend that. And what is he doing? It's going to be hard for him to stop this pawn. I, I don't like playing in those super cramped positions. I will admit that. Yeah. Fair. He's going to blockade. Yeah. Expected. Um, I guess I play here. Uh, 
all of a sudden my pieces are active. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? All of a sudden my pieces are optimally placed. <laughs> I mean, I was probably dead lost for most of that game, at least strategically speaking. And the best part is, all of a sudden... Uh, actually, I think I want to play... I, I gotta be careful. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to take it, but okay. We'll play king here. And... Play here. He can't take because I take his rook. If I play here, I don't want to trade the rooks. So, how do I avoid a rook trade? Threaten the pawn? That's one way to do it, I suppose. Expected. And I don't mind losing that because it's going to be very difficult for him to do anything useful. And I can just play here. And he's not doing anything. That's the best part about this. Um... got to be the correct move we're gonna play here okay uh i may have to give up that pawn yeah Sad, but I have to do it. Yeah, I know. It's big sad. I'm going to go ahead and play here. I don't care about the check. I'm going to play here. We're going to play here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Rook's protected. It's protected, so I don't really... I don't care. And he doesn't have a check, which is good. And you're going to do that. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. Where does the king go? Uh, what are we going to play here? I suppose we should just start pushing. I do need to be careful, obviously. I'll just play here. Not really. Now, the real question is, fail. Let's see what he plays or if he resigns. Come on. I need to not stalemate. That's the important thing. I think this is good enough. Yeah, this is good enough. Because he has pawn moves and that's good enough. See, he's got pawn moves, which is the important step. Th 
if I play here, he's still got that. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. I can play here and You know what? I'm just going to play my knight back to here. There we go. I needed that. <laughs> I needed that game. <laughs> oh, I needed that one. And we're playing Chris. Okay, we'll see how we play this one. Um, <laughs> I really needed that, and I really needed to concentrate. I, I really should have commentated a little bit heavier, but I didn't, so. All right, we'll see what he plays. Yep. Okay, so we're going to be playing this. That's fine. We're playing an Italian game. Just listen to this like two minutes ago. Okay, so you're playing an anti-fried liver stuff, but why? There's literally no reason to do that. I'm, I'm just going to cast, I'm going to play d4. Because if you play the variation correctly, computer will always say uh, white has an advantage, but uh, I, I don't actually care if he takes this pawn, by the way. Because I don't think he can actually keep it because I got rookie one and his, yeah, okay. So we're gonna play e5. Knight has to go somewhere. It's a, it's a move, not one that I would play, but it is a move. And of course the idea being that, you know, if he takes, I hit this knight and the knight has to do something. Um, um, I don't know what he's actually going to do, though. Come on. Show me that. Thank you. The fact that I might escape this with a plus score is just kind of actually sad, if we're 100% if we're honest. I mean, I'm going to lose rating points because of who I lost to, but... Oh God, that's a, uh. there's a rule and it's never play that move. And there's a lot of reasons why. He can't move his king up, but he's gonna have to because he does, has no way of blocking. So he's gonna play G6 and then just takes and takes and Yeah. And mate. Right. So, um, we're going to go ahead and stay, of course, till the end of the tournament, see what the results were. And, Okay. What the what variation is this? Oh, the retreat variation. Okay. I yeah, and that's the right move. It's the move I would have played and then you just play here. I mean, you could obviously take here and then go here, but no, you want to take this and put pressure on that knight. Um, and I'd be trying to find a way to add enough, even more pressure to it. Um, cause you've also got, you know, moves like that to consider. Whoopsies. He <laughs> he. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, this is just, yeah, this is just good for me. Um, or sorry, this is just good for, good for Drew. 
see what what is the name. I would castle and we're gonna be pushing the pawns that's what I would do let's put the last one the last game in uh, I prefer white here in every way possible except it's another boarding boring collie but you know I I don't like the I, I really don't like really uh, did, he, did he really knight d5 Bishop d2 knight d6 okay uh no this is this is okay I, I, not the way I would play it but okay it's fine yeah this is I think g6 is forced and I would not play g6 Actually, g6 is terrible. g5. Uh, we're going to be playing h4 after that. I want to connect my rook, so I'd be playing uh, queen here. Okay. Uh, move happened. Bishop G5. Okay, no. It just, no. You can sacrifice that piece. Just play H4 and uh, that bishop has to do something or you're getting blown off the board. Even then you might get, be getting blown off the board. Uh, actually, let's, let's play Knight F3 because it's a little bit... Oh, H4. Okay, so he did play H4. Um... <laughs> I mean, you can't take that and you can't move it. So you're losing material on top of that. But see, that's the thing. I wouldn't take it if he, does, if he doesn't move it. F6, maybe. And I would never play that move, but that's probably what I, he would play. Okay, so we're doing that. This is going to be one of those games. Okay. Everyone's at three. Okay. That's that's fine. Um, yeah, F five though. You just lost the tempo there, buddy. Yep. No, that's a bad move. Um, hmm. Real question is, what's the correct move here? Uh, F4 maybe? Wow. Play F5 instead? Jeez. Yeah, that was the correct move. King H8 probably. I don't know. Actually, nothing there in between. No, F6 is a bad move. Uh, 
I'll castle. Yeah, just looking at this. Okay, uh, sure. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, this game is not ending well for... Yeah. I'm expecting takes. I'm expecting takes. Whether or not it happens, we'll see. And my internet is deciding to be stupid right now for some reason. Uh, I gotta love it. I don't think F5 is a good move. Uh, or F4, sorry. Um, there's not much that is good. Maybe A5 to try and pressure this knight out of the out of the back to the edge. Maybe I don't know. I'll say A5. There we go. Connection lost. Trying to reconnect. Fantastic. Fantastique. Um. Ooh, I could go. Ooh, I might do that. Um, I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do after after I put put in all the games from the tournament. Uh, come on, come on, internet! I want to see the results of these games. Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Got to do that then. And come on now. Shouldn't be that hard. There we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, so there's only two games left. And before I forget, I am going to have to do this. That way I can get a hold of everyone's games. Thankfully. There you go. And I've got everyone and you know, I'll be putting my own games in there too, yeah, so. Uh it's a position. Yeah. I don't I don't like black's position though in this one. Um, not super huge on eh, it's a position. You know. Just waiting for the end of the tournament because uh, I know y'all have probably been sick and tired of you know two hours worth of nonsense. So, um, okay, C six isn't a terrible move um yeah that's that's fair i'm gonna see rook takes e5 and then rook e1 i like that i really like that uh yeah i would i would be doing that but now it looks like we're getting a car con position and i don't exact after everything's after some stuff has been traded on d5 um i don't yeah exactly rook there is probably the best move uh and then we can play queen to a4 yeah i like queen a4 i like queen a4 
So Jeez, did he withdraw after the first round? Okay, not what I would have played, but sure, fine. Uh, this makes a lot of... No, this doesn't make any sense to me. That's a terrible move. Okay, so... King b8... Makes sense. Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing queen a4, because that position, uh, no. No. No, no, and no. For so many reasons. So many reasons would I never play b6. I mean, you castle queenside and then you start moving all the pawns in front of your king. Uh, no. Okay, and we're good there. Um, I personally like Rook here. But I have a thing for rook lifts, and it's probably not going to get played. Um, yeah, that was that was about what I would have expected. Um, this point is it? Oh, that's a good move. I like knight d five because of c d. Oh, wait, that's still what? What? Okay, I mean, fair enough, but come on, knight d5, pawn takes, bishop takes. Um, what does this do other than you know trade get get bishop for knight? I mean, I'm not I'm not impressed. Um, you know, Hikaru is not impressed. Um. I'm uh, not Hikaru, but uh, Hikaru would not be impressed either. Um, no, this is just, no, just, no. Why? Why would you do this? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be doing that. I mean, you're pinning the knight, but again, this and what's your queen doing? Well, what's the lady doing? Going to a3? I'm not impressed. <laughs> um, I mean, okay, sure, you've got bishop here, and then, but you still have to deal with your, uh, you still have to deal with the queen, and there's not a lot of good squares. Um, okay. Oh, you missed it! You just had a free queen, buddy! You literally had a free queen, buddy. And he left it there. Oh. Oh, that's why. It's not... Yeah, it was check. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, play serious here. Okay, rookie seven is probably a good move. 
Um, I knew that was check. I knew that was check. I I always assumed that in those positions, you know, White Castle's queen side. <laughs> <laughs> I always assume that, and I always uh, forget that that's not what most people do. Um, uh, <laughs> I am so sorry. I knew that was check. <laughs> no, I didn't. I thought he castled the other direction. <laughs> I thought he castled. I thought he castled long. I'm thinking here. <sighs> yeah, uh, I'm thinking there. You know. And before anybody asks why I'm thinking Arby's. Um, yeah, okay, rookie, so okay, yeah. Whoa, okay. Uh, Um, hmm. Black up in exchange, and everything's about to come off the board, so I'm expecting here. Okay, so, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Bishop takes, queen takes, rook takes, and the king has to step away from the queen, so... You, yeah, okay, so, and you have to take it with the queen, so this is just winning, but it was a good exchange sack. Um, it was, uh, whatever the actual moves that led to that were, um, yeah. Well played. Yeah, that was what I expected with that. And then I'm assuming... Really? He actually did play Rook D6. Huh. Okay. Uh, sure. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's game. I'm expecting probably there and then Queen takes. Yeah, that's game. Okay, so... And all word work, you know, this is... Yeah, this is... I'm expecting probably here or whatever, but that that this game is ba this game is over, so I'm not even gonna bother with it. Um, we're gonna focus on this game, and okay, that's a move. Uh, we're probably looking at playing rook to uh, h6, and I mean, yeah, eventually black is gonna try and break through on the queen wing. Yeah, rook h6 here is just good. Um, though I suspect our Though I, sus though I suspect that something else is going to get played. Something tells me this is going to be the choice, or maybe we can be a little bit more proactive and play here. Actually, that's a good exchange sack. That's a great exchange sack. Yeah, we can be a little bit proactive and do that. Um... Ah, he went with my second move. Yeah, I, I, I like that exchange sack, though. Uh, so, I am it's not his style, though. He's he's the type of person to keep the queens on, um, probably go after it. Oh, he did trade. Okay. Um, well, I like taking, uh, I like trading there. Um, just seems like the right thing to do right now. But then again, that is a weak bishop. But at the same time, maybe we should be playing here. Did he play that? Oh, he did. Yeah. Right, right as I was guessing it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um...
Yeah. Yeah, this position is just good for good for black right now. Um, correct thing to do though is to just be patient with it. Yeah, exactly. Um, you're not getting checkmated, so you can afford to you know just move your rook off the back rank and uh, try and take out these pawns and you know try and push your pawns. So. Yeah, sorry about that. That's just a group chat. Oh boy, this is what? Well, that's game. Uh, <laughs> come on, Drew. Really? Really? You doing that? <laughs> How do, see, this is why you shouldn't be a time pressure addict. You know, there's, there's using your time and then there is being a time pressure addict. And it's just no. I mean, he does this in classical games too. I mean, uh, the he does this in long time control. Yeah, he does this in vi in long time control games too. I mean, where he'll play, we'll spend way too much time. <laughs> I mean, seriously. This is where, yeah, see, I wouldn't even be bothering trying to checkmate. I'd be trying to promote my pawns. Admittedly, that is bad manners, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's game. Holy moly! Looks like... Uh... Alrighty, so, yeah, I tied for third, like... Uh... Oh, it's the tiebreakers, but I'm I'm gonna state that everybody with a three of five is gonna yeah tie, um for second through sixth. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Sorry if this took a long time, and sorry if there's some dead spots, but it's kind of hard to commentate, concentrate, and you know for you know <laughs> this many hours. Um. <laughs> anyway, take it easy, y'all. Have a nice day.